George, get set for a mind-blowing afternoon. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Steve. And we are the Mistbusters. Now together we've spent countless hours researching all the different electronic cigarette options that are out there. And we think we've come up with some information that may be helpful for you. What is an e-cig? This is your basic 510 electronic cigarette. It comes in three parts. It comes with a cartridge, an atomizer, and a battery. Now as far as the batteries go, there are two different types. There's an automatic and there is a manual. The difference between these two battery types is that the automatic you just inhale, and the manual you have to push the button to activate the atomizer. Most people, after having used both, prefer to get the manual battery. Next we have battery size. Battery size is very important. It determines the battery life during usage. Um, for smaller batteries, like this, this is a blue or a 401, you're going to get maybe one to two hours battery life after this, after you've broken in the battery. For a standard 510, you will get about two to four hours. And for the Ego, you can get anywhere from six to 12 hours. The amount of uh, battery life that you get is greatly determined by how much you vape. But as a rule, the bigger the battery, the more battery life you have and the less charging you have to do, which can be very irritating if you're, tr if you're vaping constantly to continually have to switch out batteries and charge new batteries. All right, next up we have cartridges and atomizers. All right, there are two basic styles when it comes to cart or it comes to atomizers. You have your basic atomizer and cartridge combination, and then you have your cartomizer, which is the two put together. Now, the cartridge and atomizer combination is much easier to fill because you can remove the cartridge and fill it directly. Where with the cartomizer, you actually have to fill this through that little hole there, which can make life very, very challenging. Now beyond these two, in the smaller variety, you have your pre-filled cartridges, which, you know, they, they have much fewer flavors, and they are also notoriously more expensive. Next up we have e-liquid. E-liquid comes in literally thousands of flavors. In addition to several tobacco flavors and menthol flavors, you have flavors like Totally Wicked's Absinthe. Totally Wicked is notorious for being a little bit thicker than most e-liquids. E um, next up we have Johnson's Creek Tennessee Cured, which is a pipe tobacco flavor. And then we have e-pipe mods, mango, fruity flavors. Uh, menthol and fruity flavors together, mix them up, tastes great. Also, there are two different types of e-liquids. There are PG based e-liquids, which is propylene glycol, and there is VG based liquid, which is vegetable glycerin. PG based liquids can irritate the back of some people's throats, you get a little tickle. Uh, it's just a minor aller allergic reaction, that's about all there is to it. Uh, if you find that it does irritate you, switching to vegetable glycerin is a good idea. Vegetable glycerin doesn't have any known uh, allergic reactions. This concludes our introduction to e-cigs. We hope this information has been both helpful and informative. But as always, it's good to do your own research. That's right. The eSig forum has a fountain of knowledge just waiting for you to discover it. It can tell you pretty much anything you need to know about eSigs, as well as the Mistbusters forum coming soon. Thank you for watching the Mistbusters.